Aloha from the Willy Willy Harbor. Took a little road trip today uh, just to see some people coming out here and just really ending their year well and starting the new year now. We wrote a blog uh, last week about the seven things to avoid so you don't have challenges, but it is that time of the year when we reflect. So the first thing that I want to tell you before I give you those nine words, hey, that's pretty good juggling. Before I give you those nine words to set up a successful 2015 is let's remember, and I've done a lot of blogs about this, resolutions don't work. Uh, they, it's a waste of time, they really suck because most of the time you're trying to break a bad habit they've had for 20 or 30 years and you just can't do it because you're gonna resolve to do it. And that is how I found most people that are in network marketing, they look at their past year, they feel negative about it, what they didn't get done, how come they're not at a certain pin level, and they make resolutions. The scientific evidence is overwhelming that resolutions don't work and there's a specific reason for that. And I'll let you know that at the end of this and what you can actually do about it for things that you feel compelled to change. But what's really important as you look back at this year and look forward to next year is these nine words. You know, we started doing this probably, I don't know what, 10, 11 years ago, honey? About 10, 11 years ago. And uh, we just finished our big annual end of the year meeting to plan out next year. And you wanna start with these nine words. And before I give them to you, I wanna tell you why. Most people, when they evaluate in network marketing where they are, they're disappointed and either sad or angry about where they're at in their business. And they start thinking about all the things they didn't do and they kind of get negative with themselves. And then they make ridiculous resolutions for the new year. That's not how it works. What you wanna understand in planning a successful year is the planning meeting has to be planned to be successful. And these nine words will do it for you. So get out a piece of paper or a couple of pieces of paper, which is exactly what myself and our staff did yesterday. And we made, we probably spent the first 15 to 20 minutes or more talking about the first five words. So the first five words are what did we do right? Make a list of everything you did right. Even if you just stayed on auto ship and you contacted people, don't worry if you don't feel that you contacted enough. Forget about that. Everything you did right. Put that down, write it down, all the things you did right. Because it's much easier to build on things that you've already started to do right. Even if you only called five people a week instead of 15 people a day, it doesn't matter. Don't judge it, all the things you did right. And spend 15 minutes in thinking about that and not like you're puffing yourself up, it isn't, isn't aren't I great? But you know, any business that doesn't take inventory is out of business. Uh, it's true in the restaurant business, which I was in, it's true in the wholesale business, which I was in, and it's true in network marketing. And our inventory is what we did with our time. Very easy to get off track, get negative, and if you're, if you're meeting for your end of year and projection for next year and creation for next year starts off negatively, well, the plans are going to be negative. And nothing that's negative has vitality or life in it. So you wanna start with what you've done right. What did we do right? Or what did I do right? Now the next four words is the next step. And that is after you've made that list and let that soak in, what could we improve? So what did we do right? And what could we improve? And we went through about a two hour meeting of things that we could improve. Now here's the really cool thing. We're building on things that we did right. Maybe sometimes it's eliminating some things. Maybe sometimes it's adding some new things in. Maybe you uh, could improve in the amount of times you pick up the phone. Maybe you could improve in the amount of gathering of names that you do. But if you'll set the tone for the meeting, so this is a plan for your end of year meeting on what did I do right? What could we improve? you're gonna find that you're gonna come out of that with a much better set of ideas. Now here's the second part of this thing, and this is a challenge for you, and my challenge is balance. 
This is so important. I was way out of balance and a lot of times at the beginning of our business we are. Don't let that happen at the beginning of the year. You want to take care of your relationship with your maker, whoever that might be, your relationship with your family, your relationship with yourself. You've got a few things that you really like to do. Maybe it's fantasy baseball. Maybe it's playing golf. Maybe it's knitting for your grandchildren. It doesn't really matter. But get all those things planned. You've got to have balance in your life. I know people in network marketing that were doing great and they're getting some, some of them some really good checks, but they're miserable. They're miserable. Here's why it'll make you better to have all those things in place first. The reason I got into network marketing and the final analysis, same reason that you got involved in network marketing, so that you could create a different outcome, to have the time to do the things that with the people that you want to do and the money to do them. Here's what everybody does wrong. They work, maybe like myself, I was working a 70 hour week job. They work all the time. They're working in network marketing business all the time. Their life is completely out of balance. So my challenge for you as you go through, what did I do right? What could I do better? My challenge for you is first, do what I now do. Do what my wife does and do what we do as a couple. Plan your life first and the more things that you put in there that you really, really enjoy, the more successful you'll be in your business. It's a complete fallacy that you're going to make all this money and hit these pin levels and then be a better husband, a better dad, a better contributor in your community. Do those things now. And when you're doing those things, do them. Don't think about your network marketing business because then when you do start the activity of executing the plan that you write out, guess what's going to happen? You'll have started to treasure the life that you can have. And when you do that, it makes your intensity and your focus that much better. So let's review, okay? Start your meeting at the end of the year with what did I do right and what can I improve? That's going to put you in the proper mindset and I want to challenge you to put things down first as you start to write out a plan for next year that you enjoy. Uh, exercise that you're going to get. I'll give you a perfect example of our day. I read every day. I sit in silence every day. I spend time with my creator every day. I spend time with my wife every day. We go on dates. We have time together and there's things that we enjoy. And I'm psyched fantasy baseball's right around the corner. That's a passion of mine. I'm already studying that. I do these things first so that when I am working, all I'm doing is working because I've given value to the work. I know that those other things could expand more and in our case, we were really blessed. So I hope this helps you have a great end of the year meeting and that sets up a winning thing for you. And I wanna tell you two things. I made a statement that resolutions don't work. That's an absolute fact. Um, you know, in uh, about two weeks, we're actually gonna run a course uh, on Think and Grow Rich. Now, if you think Think and Grow Rich is a book, you need to take the course. The only way that you can make the changes in your life that you want is to make them in thought first. The computer that you're looking at, the chair that you're sitting in, the desk that your computer's sitting on, the house or apartment that you're in, and the, and the community that you have, they were all first what? A thought. So we can't change the actions we take until we change the thought. The results in our life are effects of thought. It's cause and effect. So if you've read Think and Grow Rich but don't understand that it's actually an exercise, we're gonna bring you through a 14-week exercise going over the 13 steps to riches so you can create a different cause in your mind. So if you want early notification of that, that's part of Go90 Grow. I've put down there a place where you can get early notification because we only take in 100 uh, students. And fundamentally, jump on that list if you have trouble sticking to changes that you'd like to make. And I'd also like to know, put down there, what are your comments? What can we do on this blog for you next year? How do you feel about having a positive attitude before you start your meeting to plan out next year? Peace be the journey and uh, you know, if you plan right, you'll be over here with me next year having fun with these people what are they doing, honey? Paddleboarding and surfing? Yeah, yeah paddleboarding and surfing. What a great way to end the year and start the year. You can do it too. Let me know how you feel. Happy New Year. Happy holidays to you. And like I said,
peace be the journey.